Hi, I am Dr. Zubair and today we will be discussing about amyloidosis. What are the learning objectives of today's class? To define amyloidosis and describe its physical chemical structure. To list the stains used to demonstrate amyloid. To describe the clinical significance of amyloid. A little bit about the history. First described by Rokitansky in 1842, the substance was subsequently named by Verko as amyloid under the mistaken belief that the material was starch-like. Amylon means starch. We can observe here that similar to starch, this material when present stains brown by Lugol's iodine. Therefore, this material was called as amyloid meaning like starch. So, today we know amyloidosis is a group of diseases having in common the deposition of similar appearing proteins. We one must remember amyloid is not a chemically distinct entity. So, amyloid, it is a pathological proteinaceous substance deposited between cells in various organs and tissues in a wide variety of clinical settings. On microscopy, it is amorphous, eosinophilic, hyaline, extracellular, causes pressure atrophy of adjacent cells. All these points are important. It is amorphous, eosinophilic, hyaline, extracellular and causes pressure atrophy of adjacent cells. Staining properties of amyloid is frequently asked in the exams as a question. So, on HND stain, it is amorphous eosinophilic hyaline. On Congo red, it imparts a pink or red color to the tissue deposits. Please remember Congo red stain is the diagnostic stain for amyloid. And it gives apple green bireferengins when the Congo red stain tissue is observed under a polarizing microscope. And amyloid stains brown with iodine and turns violet on addition of dilute sulfuric acid. So this is the list of staining characters with amyloid which we just now mentioned. This is in the liver tissue you can observe the amyloid here and the same Congo red stain tissue under polarizing microscope exhibits the apple green bireferengins. What is the structure of amyloid? It is a fibril composed of paired filaments of beta pleated sheets and within this there are sites for the Congo red molecules to bind. So they are non branching fibrils of indefinite length. Each fibril composed of a paired filament with a diameter of 7.5 to 10 nanometers. On X ray crystallography and infrared spectroscopy, it demonstrates beta pleated sheet conformation. Chemically, it is comprised of fibril proteins in which we have AL, amyloid light chain protein, AA, amyloid associated protein and other proteins. Then we have non-fibril proteins in which there is amyloid P, AP component, apolipoprotein E component, sulfated glycosaminoglycans, antichymotrypsin, protein X and other components. How do you classify amyloidosis? It is classified as systemic or generalized amyloidosis in which there is primary AL type, secondary reactive inflammatory AA type, Hemodialysis associated A beta to M, heridofamilial A T T R A A. Then we have the localized amyloidosis, senile cardiac type A T T R, senile cerebral A beta or A P R P, endocrine type with hormone precursors, and tumor forming A L type. So each amyloid protein has a protein precursor. So, the AA protein is from, derived from serum amyloid A. AL is from the kappa or light, lambda light chains. ATTR is derived from transthyretin. A beta from A beta protein precursor. A beta to M from beta to microglobulin. Transthyretin is from transthyretin itself. And amyloid beta protein from amyloid precursor protein APP. Procalcitonin from calcitonin. And amylin from amylin itself. So, coming to primary amyloidosis, it is systemic in distribution AL in type seen in multiple myeloma. 
while reactive systemic amyloidosis is AAN type secondary to an associated inflammatory condition such as tuberculosis, bronchiectasis and chronic osteomyelitis. Let us look at the contrasting features between primary and secondary amyloidosis. First we will go through primary amyloid. It is of AL type light chain proteins with lambda chains more common than kappa and having a sequence homology of chains. Associated diseases are plasma cell dyscrasias and the stimulus for primary amyloidosis is monoclonal B-cell proliferation with excess of immunoglobulin light chains, partial degradation leading to insoluble AL fibril, common in US and organ distribution is kidney, heart, bowels and nerves. And congophilia will persist after permanganate treatment of section and specific immunostains are anti-kappa, anti-lambda. Coming to secondary amyloid, it is AA associated derived from the larger precursor protein SAA seen in chronic inflammation, infections, TB, leprosy, osteomyelitis, autoimmune diseases and cancers. The stimulus being chronic inflammation leading to activation of macrophages, cytokines, partial degradation resulting in insoluble AA fibril, most commonly worldwide, particularly in developing countries, seen in the kidney, liver, spleen and adrenals, congophilia disappears after permanent treatment of sections. Specific immunostain is anti-AA. Coming to other types, hemodialysis associated amyloidosis seen in long term hemodialysis due to deposition of beta 2 microglobulin. Heridofamilial amyloidosis seen in familial Mediterranean fever. It's a febrile disorder of unknown cause res resulting in inflammation of the cirrhosis surfaces, peritoneum, synovium and pleura. Localized amyloidosis, amyloid localized to an organ or tissue such as lungs, larynx, urinary bladder, tongue and region about the eye. Endocrine amyloid is seen in medullary carcinoma of thyroid, islet cell tumors of pancreas, pheochromocytomas, undifferentiated carcinoma of stomach. Amyloid of aging is associated with systemic, senile systemic amyloidosis, senile cardiac amyloidosis. What is the pathogenesis? So pathogenesis, there is abnormal folding of proteins deposited as fibrils in extracellular tissue. Misfolded proteins are unstable and self-associate. So there is a stimulus, could be unknown carcinogen, leading to monoclonal B-cell proliferation within the plasma cells, causing immunoglobulin light chains to form AL protein. Or as we mentioned, the chronic inflammation with macrophage activation, interleukin 1 and 6 in the liver, leading to SAA protein deposits changing into AA protein or there could be a mutation of a normal protein to the mutated form to form the amyloid TTR. Okay, We do not know yet fully. What is important is the specific patterns of amyloidosis in various organs. So in the kidney when there is amyloidosis the kidney is normal in size and color and in advanced cases it is shrunken and vascular. Glomerular deposits are seen appearing with mesangial thickening and the amyloid in the kidney gives a waxy appearance. Can you see the shine here? We call it as waxy appearance and we have mesangial deposits here of the amyloid and it is confirmed by congruent staining giving the apple green by referengence on polarizing microscope. When there is amyloidosis in the spleen it is of two types. We have the sago spleen and the lardaceous spleen. Sago spleen the amyloids are limited to the splenic follicles. In lardaceous spleen, we have map-like deposits in the sinusoids. This is the normal spleen. We have the sago spleen and the lardaceous spleen. Sago spleen and lardaceous spleen. So sago spleen can be asked as a short answer in exams. Okay, indirectly they will ask usually. What we have here is spleen with the amyloid deposits here with the apple green birefringence on a congruent stained tissue. In the liver, the space of this is the first site of amyloid deposition. In the heart, it can be in the subendocardial deposits. Other organs are adrenal thyroid, pituitary. We can have nodular deposits in the tongue giving rise to amyloid forming tumors of tongue. What are the sites of biopsy? It is tongue and abdominal fat. Alright, I hope you have understood a little bit about amyloid. Amyloid is a heterogeneous group of proteins. Chemically, they are very distinct, but what binds them is the common physical property. The common physical property is staining by Congo red and under the polarizing microscopy they give apple green by referengins. that is the take home message thank you
please like subscribe and share this channel